as I explained before, we have three mannequins. This is the head mannequin, we call him Sam. He's standardized. Uh, this is for right ear, left ear. And this flat part is for body testing. If I take a phone, normally what we will have to test in terms of uh, SAR will be standardized test positions. This is what we call cheek position. The phone is in contact with the cheek of the mannequin. This is tilt position, where the phone is actually rotated a little bit. And then at the body, we test all sides of the phone because the phone can be actually touching different parts of your body and on all these different sides. So somehow, we need to reproduce test positions that would reproduce real use cases. Inside those mannequins, we have the probe arrays, which I was talking about, which are immersed into the fluid, mimicking the biological tissue properties. And after that, in this large box, we have all the RF electronics that allows to first multiplex all the sensors, then go into a down converter to go lower in frequency and do analog to digital sampling at 250 mega samples per second. And then we have a computer made of FPGAs and uh, CPU, uh, i7 inside the machine that perform all the calculation. When you do a SAR test, you cannot have just this machine. You need a whole system. And this is another complementary point with Rodenschwarz, that we need Rodenschwarz equipment to run this kind of system. As you know, Rodenschwarz uh, makes, is the manufacturer of this base station simulator, CMW500, which, at which we connect an antenna. And with this set, we can communicate with the device to test and put this device in the correct transmission mode that we want to test. Normally, when we are running a compliance testing, what we need to do is we need to go through all the possible test modes of one device. So now the device has been already set to communicate with the base station. So it's turned on, it's communicating right now. And what we can do is we can position this device, for example, on the flat phantom, so the body testing. Usually we have intended use conditions defined in user manual, so we place a spacer to reproduce this intended use condition. And then we place the mobile phone above the flat mannequin on top of the array. Now the phone is transmitting. The transmission mode we have set is in GSM, frequency um, in the 1800 megahertz band, 1710 megahertz. This is the interface that we use for our system. Our software is called SARLAB, and our system is called Artman. I didn't say that. Um, with SARLAB, we can control the CMW500, set the right test mode, and uh, then we also configure at which part of the system we want to make the test. So now it was configured for head test, but I will configure it for body test. So now you see the body being displayed in the interface. Yeah, we can move this body in 3D. And what I just have to do now is press the button to start the measurement because everything is ready. Now I click on start. The system start measuring, scanning the whole array, probe after probe, in total 780 sensors, and then displays instantaneously the SAR result. So you can see the SAR distribution being displayed in the phantom, and we see a one gram SAR cube, which is actually the quantity of relevance in India, because this is the one which is regulated and has a limit applied to it. And you can see the SAR value being here, 0.2 watts per kilogram, where the limit is 1.6. So we are quite safe here. So that's the way it works.